This video is going to familiarize you with the world's most advanced innovation in band training technology, the new Raptor training system by Vertimax. The Raptor is a 17 pound dual band portable training system designed to provide stable elastic training resistance from one inch to over 20 yards from the Raptor. The advantage of the Raptor is that it can be deployed on any suitable chain link fence in seconds or quickly mounted on walls indoors to provide unique training benefits for athletes, medical rehab patients, or the general population for basic conditioning. With four different band sizes and the ability to adjust resistance on the Raptor, resistance levels from two pounds to 80 pounds can be generated and applied to users in hundreds of ways to elevate training benefits to new levels. This short five part video will show you how to install the Raptor from its travel configuration, how to attach the Raptor unit in the horizontal and vertical positions on a chain link fence, how to perform a simple band maintenance procedure to extend the life of the bands, how to detach the Raptor from the horizontal and vertical mounted positions on a fence, and finally, how to stow the Raptor unit back to its travel configuration. All right, this video is going to show you how to unstow a Vertimax Raptor unit. When you get the Raptor unit and unpack it, it's going to look like this. It's going to be in the stowed position. <clears throat> you're going to have four fence attachment straps attached to the back and stowed. And you're going to see the both cords wrapped around uh, these flanges here, which helps stow the extra cord on the device used for the far distance sprinting. Now, the first thing that you're going to do to unstow the system is we're going to remove the four fence straps. And the way you do that is you depress the switch, the cam, to open up the straps and make the straps as long as possible. Once you make the straps as long as possible, you're going to be able to detach them with the spring clips on each end. And then you're going to detach the thumb spring clips on each end you're basically going to have four straps ready to attach to the system. Now these four straps are going to attach to the four corners of the system. And you're going to attach these straps actually right now. Once you take them off, you're going to use the spring clip and attach to the upper left, the upper right, the lower left, and the lower right. Now, once we've done that, we're going to flip the system back over. <clears throat> and now we're going to start the procedure where you unstow the two cords. And the way you do that is you unhook the cords. The end of each cord has a hook on it. That's going to be hooked on one of these saddle straps. You can hook the cord when you stow it on any one of these four saddle straps, including you'll see two holes on the flanges that you can also hook the hooks in when you wrap it around. And whichever, whichever flange or hole is closer to the end of the cord, that's the one you hook it into. So I'm going to unstow the blue cord first. Once I've done that, I'm going to set it over on the side here. Now I'm going to unstow the white cord. And set it over on the side. And now we got the last step in the unstow procedure, which is removing the movable pulleys. We're going to detach these from the system and pull them outside the cords. And the way you do that is you simply pull back the cord and you're going to expose this, this thumb switch right here, snap, which is, a, which is attached to a saddle strap in here. And you're going to pull the cord on the outside to the outside of the box or the power module. We're going to do that on the left and right. Now these pulleys you see here are the movable pulley systems that you're going to attach to the fence with these spring clips. <clears throat> and now, once we've unstowed the unit, we're ready to attach it to the fence. All right, once the unit's been unstowed, we're ready to install the unit on the fence. Now typically we want to install the unit centered on one of the fence supports that you'll, is typically you'll find on any, any fence spaced about 10 feet apart. You want to center this unit on that fence post. Now, you can attach the unit to the, to the right 
or to the left, but you don't want to attach it very far to the right or left. If you're going to attach it to the left of the support post, you kind of want one side of the machine, like the right side of this machine, of the Raptor, ne next to the fence post. You want to attach it to the right of the fence post, you want it in this area right here. But you typically do not want to attach the Raptors between the uh, two fence posts that are uh, spaced about 10 feet apart. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the cord on the left and right, and we're going to grab the top left fence strap, and you're going to hold the unit up about chest level, and you're going to attach the strap at about a 45 degree angle with the, with the unit, and you're going to pull it so it's not too tight, and then we're going to go the opposite strap, upper right, and attach that to the fence at about a 45 degree angle. Once you do that, you're basically you're going to step back and you're going to look at the unit and you're going to try to center the unit and make it level. Right now this unit's dipping a little bit left to right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull on the strap here and we're going to go ahead and level it. Now, as you can see, we got two straps left, the lower left and lower right. Once you've leveled the unit, you, would, you go at about a 45 degree angle on the left strap, pull it tight, <clears throat> 45 degree angle on the right strap, and then cinch it tight. And now you can see the unit, it's been fastened to the fence. We're ready to now to untach the movable pulley assemblies. And you do that basically by detaching these two clips. <clears throat> and now the pulley assemblies are gonna hang. Okay, now we're ready to position the movable pulleys where we want them to perform our training. Now, there's one restriction on where you can put these pulleys. Basically, you can put the pulleys anywhere below the unit and to the left and right. But you cannot put them above the unit. And the restriction is, if you draw a 45 degree angle down, basically the angle of the strap, from this exit pulley here on both sides. So take a 45 degree angle down and draw a line out till it hits the ground. And draw a line from this exit pulley out 45 degrees until it hits the ground. These two movable pulley systems can be put anywhere inside the green shaded area that you see now. You do not want to put these cords outside this green shaded area, and you certainly do not want to put them above the system because you're going to damage the cords if they're outside this green area. Typically, for um, when you're doing speed work uh, out outdoors, these pulleys are going to be somewhere in the mid mid area here below the unit, or if you're attaching the um, the cords to both ankles, these pulleys are probably going to be down around uh, ankle level. I'm just going to put these down here now. Once we've attached the four fence straps, we've leveled the unit, and we, we've attached the two movable pulley systems where we want them for the exercise we're going to do, the next very important thing to do is check the alignment coming off this exit pulley for both pulleys. And what you're looking for is when I pull this cord, this movable pulley is going to come out from the fence, and you should see this straighten up. But as you can see right now, that this cord is coming basically straight down off this exit pulley, and that's what you're looking for. You don't want if the fence flexes out at the bottom, you're going to see this cord move away like that, and you don't want that. You want the cord coming straight down. These movable pulleys are designed so that when you attach them to a firm fence, they're going to come out just far enough to get, keep this straight. But again, you don't want to, when you pull on this, you don't want to see this cord going out like that, and you don't want to see the cord going in like that. You want it basically right in this level, right around here. And you can, it can come out a little bit, left or right, but you don't want it coming out a lot. So you want to check for this alignment. That's super important. If you don't do that and the alignment's off, you can damage the cords. And so basically we're going to do this for the left, for the left uh, exit pulley. And then we're going to check, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check the right, the right pulley and make sure that when we pull on this cord that that's perfectly straight and it is. Now you're ready to use the system. Okay, it's also important to note that you can store the Raptor vertically on a fence too. I can put the Raptor to the left with the movable pulley systems facing to the right or I could take this Raptor and rotate it 180 degrees and put it over here with the movable pulley system facing this way. 
In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the left side. When you install the Raptor vertically, you wanna attach the two top straps first. Kinda of like when you uh, attach it horizontally, but they're gonna be on one end of the Raptor as opposed on, on the same end of the Raptor as opposed on either side. So basically, what I'm gonna do here is hold the, the handle with one hand. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this cord in the corner of the fence. I'm gonna pull it as far as it'll go. Then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the second cord at about a 45 degree angle and tighten that. The next thing I'm gonna do is attach the two bottom bands. You don't need these ex excessively tight, but you need it firm. Once all four straps are attached, we're going to go ahead and release the movable pulley systems by detaching the two clasps that are used to attach the cords to the athlete. And when you do that, you just want to pull out one pulley system and lock it to the fence. Pull out the other pulley system and put it wherever you want. Now remember, the position restrictions on these movable pulley systems are the same as when the Raptor is uh, horizontal. In this case, you want to draw a 45 degree angle coming off, off of this exit pulley relative to a straight line going through the Raptor end to end. You want to draw a 45 degree line there and a 45 degree line here. And anywhere in that green shaded area, you can place these. So, I mean, you could have one athlete training all the way over here. And of course, the cord can come out to that athlete. And you may have an athlete in here doing another type of drill that may, may be some core rotational drill in here. But again, you have a lot of versatility here because you can use this whole green shaded area to put these uh, movable pulley systems wherever you want and control the vector of the resistance being applied to the athlete. Now, after about an hour of use, or every time the athlete's done using the unit and you're about to stow it, you want to do a cord maintenance procedure. And what this does is it gets rid of any twists in the cord that occur while you're training, doing long distance sprinting or any type of training for that matter, you want to get the twist out of the cord and that's going to prolong the life of the cord significantly. And there's two ways to do that. The first way we can do that is called the walk back. And what we're going to do is we're going to release the cam cleats, the cords in these cam cleats and just release them and do not lock them. We're going to leave them up released. We're not going to wedge it back in a cam cleat on both sides. <clears throat> Once we do that, we're going to put the belt, put the, uh, the 360 degree belt on and we're going to use the snaps on the end of each cord. We're going to hook it to the 360 degree belt. And then we're going to walk back from the unit. And as you can see, the uh, Raptor cords on the left and right, the Raptor cords on the left and right are going to be taken up. And they're going to go all the way into the cam cleats and they're going to stay there. And then you're going to continue walking backwards for about 25 yards. Now as you're walking back, you want to keep the cords separated on each of the D-rings on the 360 degree belt. And if you notice, each cord has a, has a spindle. These are bearing spindles that allow the cords to spin. If you watch, I can spin the cords very easily with my fingers, clockwise, counterclockwise. And what you want to do when you walk backwards, you can look down the cord and see which way it's twisted. This cord is twisted in a counterclockwise direction, so what I'm going to do with my fingers as I'm walking backwards, I'm just going to spin this cord clockwise until I don't see any more turns in that cord, and then it's been neutralized. And you do that with the left and right cord, and then you simply walk back to the unit, and the procedure is done. Now all you do is you take back up the cord, and lock it on both sides. And you're done. Okay, that was a walk back procedure where you attach the two cords that attach the athlete to your waist and walk back with the 360 degree belt. The second way to do this procedure, you extract the cords from either end of the system about 10 to 15 feet, and then you untwist the cords when they exit the cam cleat. 
And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull probably about 10 or 15 feet of cord out of the system and we're gonna lock it. And any twists that are inside the system will now be outside on this cord. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did with the first procedure. We're gonna walk away from the system and any twist we see in the cord, we're gonna rotate the cord the opposite direction until that twist comes out. And once the twist is out, and you don't feel the cord trying to twist one way or another in your hand, you're done. We're basically gonna walk back to the system. We're gonna unhook the cam cleat, and you wanna hold on to the cord really tight now because it's gonna to wanna to go back into the system. And you're just gonna slowly let it go back into the system. And once it's all the way in, you're done. And now you want to do that same exact procedure with the right side cord. Okay, once you've completed your training and you've performed the cord maintenance procedure, either the walk back procedure or extracting the cords on either side of the system and untwisting them that way, we're ready to unstow the unit. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to detach the movable pulley systems. Once you detach the movable pulley systems, we're going to pull the cord out each end of the machine slowly until these, these movable pulley systems just come in contact with the exit pulleys and then we're going to lock it. I'm going to go ahead and do this on the right side now, pulling out the left cord, pull it slowly until the, pulley, uh, the movable pulley comes in contact with the exit pulley and then you lock it. The next thing we're going to do, the two clips used to attach the cords to the athlete, we're going to clip those together. Now the next step is to detach the bottom left and right strap first. Do not disconnect the top left or right first. You want to disconnect strap number three or strap number four. And again, you do that by depressing the cam, let out as much slack in the, uh, as you can, and then detach the cord. Now we have strap four and three detached. The only thing holding the system on the fence now is strap one and two. The next thing we're gonna do, which you do in either order, is take off strap number one or strap number two. I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna take off strap number two. You wanna grab the machine by the handle and support it either from the top or underneath. Go ahead and release the cam so you've got slack and detach band number two. And then hold the system, let it down, and grab the handle with your right hand and disconnect strap number one. And now the system is detached from the fence and ready to stow. Now the stow procedure for the vertical placement is the same as for the horizontal placement in terms of the order of which things are done. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna release the movable pulley systems and make sure they retract to each of the exit pulleys. And once they do that, we're gonna take these two clasps that are used to attach the cords to the athlete. We're gonna connect those. Now remember, prior to taking this down, you're gonna to wanna to perform the cord maintenance procedure, either the walk back procedure or the procedure where you extract the bands from each end of the system and you take the twist out that way. Now after we've attached the class and hold the movable pulley systems in place, we're gonna remove the lower two straps, which is just like the horizontal. The lowest straps are the ones that we take off first. We've got the lower straps done. <coughs> We've got the lower straps off, and now we're gonna go ahead and remove the upper straps. Just lift the system a little bit so you release the tension off the straps. And now the Raptor is detached from the fence and you're ready to stow it. Okay, now we're ready to go through the stowing procedure. And the first step we're gonna do in the stowing procedure is we're gonna put the movable pulley systems inside these resistance bands. And the way you do that is you're gonna grab the spring-loaded clasp and open it up with your hand. You're gonna lift the unit up and you're gonna grab as many cords as you can, bend them down and expose the saddle strap here. And then you're gonna hook this movable pulley on a saddle strap. And you're gonna tuck that movable pulley behind all the bands. And that keeps the movable pulley inside the system. And now we're gonna do that with the left pulley, we're going to open up the, the uh, we're going to open up the thumb strap, 
We're gonna put our right thumb in here and pull back as many bands as we can. Clip the, uh, the snap on a saddle strap. And then we're gonna push the movable pulley behind the band so it stays in there. So now the movable pulleys are tucked inside the system. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all four of the fence straps. Just by opening up the trigger snaps. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to open up these uh, straps and make them as long as possible by depressing the cam switch and pulling on a cord and making sure that the length of the straps are maximized. And there's a reason for that we'll talk about in a second. Now, we're gonna flip the unit over. The next step is to stow the cords. And you can stow either the right or left cord first, it doesn't matter. In this case, I'm gonna stow the right cord first. You wanna make sure the cord drops through this gap here. And then wrap the cord around the flanges. Remember, the end of each cord has a hook on it. And what you wanna do when you come up to the end of the cord, you wanna see where this hook is relative to the next saddle strap. As you can see here, I kind of overshot this saddle strap here. So what you do is let, unwrap the cord a little bit and pull on it and wrap it back around the flange, which will allow it to elongate and reach the saddle strap. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stow the left cord. Again, you wanna make sure that the cord drops in that gap then wrap it around the flanges. And now I've stowed both cords. The last step is putting the fence attachment straps back on. Remember, we've, we've made them as long as they can be, and the reason we do that is once you take two straps and you attach both straps, two straps to each saddle strap on each side, which I've done now. And now these straps are just long enough to connect in the middle. Once you connect them, you pull them tight. Pull them tight, and now the system is stowed. It's basically like a briefcase, it weighs 17 pounds, you can take it wherever you want. We hope you enjoyed this video demonstrating the deployment of the most advanced portable band training technology in the world, the Raptor. Please feel free to contact our product support staff with any questions you might have at 800-699-5867 or visit us at vertimax.com. Thank you.